harmonies. Thank you so much. 10,000 subscribers. And as a thank you, I've put together this following video, the most watched parts of the top five videos on my channel. So thank you again and enjoy. So can you put your thumb and little finger together and I'm going to try and pull them apart and hold. Fantastic. So I might feel a bit chilly. Okay. Is that all right there? Yeah. yeah. And hold. No. And hold. It's better. And hold. Yeah, that's strong. And hold. No. And hold. No. And hold. Yeah. And hold. Yeah. Oh, we might have a choice. Yeah. And hold. That's the last one. That's a no. Sweet marjoram, frankincense, geranium, and patchouli. Ooh. Right, this is going to smell amazing. Now you might want a little bit under your nose before we start so that you're familiar with what's happening behind you. If I just give you a moustache, yeah, does that smell okay? Introducing oil to your back. So all of these oils are de-stress and hydrating. Patchouli, sweet marjoram is also very good for skin and sleep. Very good for headaches. Patchouli is wonderful for relaxing. It's also, I don't know if you're aware of this, an aphrodisiac. Massaging in a figure of eight, encompassing the whole back. This is really nice for the back because it then feels like it's one unit, not lots of individual parts that have been previously massaged separately. Working around muscles of the hips and then the latissimus dorsi, very large muscle across the mid back here, and the muscles of the upper back. Smoothing it down. Clipping. Turning into that ankle once more. And then around the ankle. Up the front with two thumbs. Over the top of the bony part of the foot, beautiful petrissage, 
and then into that lower back part of the side of the heel up and stretch the spine out circling into that toe joint the big toe being the neck of the body and circling a little tug on each toe that's really good back to the fleshy part of the foot underneath encouraging the lungs to breathe the eyes the ear for all of it to feel clear stimulated and at one coming back to this ankle giving it a little turn over the top around the sides up wonderful and then into those metatarsals again a nice circular rotation of the toe here on the little toe Introducing the oil. on some key organs and meridian points and then a massage to finish Using that beautiful oil to the whole arm and the hand. And then angling the elbow upwards around the deltoid. Encourage movement back to the heart. And now into the lower arm, the forearm. First of all, double thumbs into the inside of the arm. And now, petrissage, circular, four stage, downward movement. feels really good and circling that wrist massaging around the area previously circled and 
into the metacarpals. Those bones attaching to the fingers. A lovely circular action of each digit. Hydrating, moisturising as I travel. Ensuring the skin's not only covered but also the muscles inside are relieved of tension and stretched. favourite moves, splitting the hand, introducing overlapping thumbs to the centre, up the solar plexus. A little dry skin there, make sure that's oiled, into the phenar muscle, up the valley of the lower hand and up to the lymph node. Supporting the mid neck from about 
T1 to C3. This is so good for the respiratory system. Of course in first aid and emergency first aid this is called the lift for life where this is the easiest way for us to breathe. So it creates a vast amount of beautiful oxygen down into our whole body. And a nice relax, lengthening out, nice stretch and release. apply the headband to keep the hair out of the way. Wonderful. That's it. And using a couple of pumps of smoothing cleanser with a little warm water. And I'm going to be working up the neck over the chin, the cheeks, including the nose, and then the forehead. I'm bringing the massage and facial of a long two hour session to a close with some long shoulder, head and hair relieving effleurage. Okay, keeping your eyes closed and taking a few nice long breaths. And while you're here in this beautiful place, imagine bottling all of your sensations right now. So imagine how how you feel, what you can see behind your closed eyelids, what you can hear, what you can smell, maybe the essential oils, the products of the tropic skincare, and what you can taste, and above all, how you feel in your mind and your emotions how your soul and your spirit feels. So visualize all of these different sensations of this particular moment coming together and visualize putting all of this feeling into a little bottle. Visualize sealing the bottle with a stopper and having the bottle with you at all times. Stress relieving. And whatever goes on the feet, we also feel and smell and taste in our senses. So at some point, it may be tasted up in the mouth. So I'm just going between each toe, just cooling with lovely cooling sponges and round the back of the foot, up the sole, soothing away the stresses and the heat of the day. Lovely.
so at first just having a little feel of the feet how they present themselves at first then working to the kidney which is just below the adrenal in a kidney shape yeah a little bit clicky and then working round in a gentle arc to the bladder just here on that curve sometimes you can see the bladder on some people it tends to be a little bit swollen and then the same on the other side from the adrenal to the kidney round in an arc to that lovely bladder yeah yeah and I always work on this area at the end of a Swiss reflex treatment anyway because it helps to remove toxins that have been agitated during the treatment so now I'm going to go and make up a nice cream to use for Nadine's reflexology treatment so I've put together here some lovely cooling aloe gel because it's quite a, a warm evening. I've also put some organic sunflower oil and then a mixture of corn mint, quite a lot of lavender and some uh, sweet marjoram in order to carry on that clearing action because Nadine arrived with a headache today. So I'm just going to use some of that, first of all, over both feet. Oh, it smells amazing. So again, just like using the Roman Chamomile Hydrolat Spray earlier. Two thumbs gently under the foot, working together quite deeply, stretching that soft fascia under the foot and now once I've done that to both sides I'm going to massage the solar plexus in a clockwise manner deeply symmetrically And for me this marks the start of the actual treatment, the start of the targeted healing. And this is when I tune into what reflexology really means. Shooting out cortisone into our blood system to help us cope with the fight or flight response. Lovely. Okay, that feels much better. And then I tend to do a Brazilian toe technique where I start with the middle toe just gently, just simply holding, not particularly pressing, not particularly moving in any way, just holding and therefore tuning into the energy of the toe the energy of the foot the energy of the person a couple more breaths Working on to the next toe out, the fourth toe. Again, just touching, not tickling, just holding. How are you feeling? It was yummy. It was yummy. It was yummy. 
and how was it when I was massaging on your left foot? Was that sore? Yeah, it was sort of sore up further up the top by the little toe. Okay. Um, but but not as sore. Do you remember when you touched it last time? Yeah. It's not as bad this time as then. So. Okay. But it was bearable. Yeah. 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 Okay. Did it feel like it was helping? Yes. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's always always waiting for you to touch it, and but it was fine. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm. Well, I hope I hope it helps. Mm. Thank you. You look you look very sleepy. <laughs> I am. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So time for bed, probably. Oh, straight to bed. I'm showered. I'm ready. Lovely. Straight to bed. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching Nadine's reflexology treatment. I'll see you next time. Let's spread a little healing. Yeah, it looks nice. Okay, so I'm just going to remove the top towel, put it on the radiator for later. you in. Lovely. So you're completely covered there. Getting a good amount of warmed aromatherapy oil. Pouring it onto the back. Lovely. Making sure everywhere is covered. Including the neck. Very top of the shoulders. Into the hips and the sides of the torso. Are you warm enough, Jodie? Yes, yeah, like Oh, good. You've got the heated couch on. Okay, so three nice long breaths. Massaging from the top using whole hands. Jodie. Hello. Hi. You're back again? Yeah, back again. So every month. Every <laughs> month, yes. And I come to you every month. It's yeah. so nice. Okay. And do you have any issues with hearing or balance or um, dizziness? I don't think so. And would you say that one of your ears is worse than another or are they about the same? Uh, my left one is usually worse. 
worse. Mm. So that means we're going to do that one second. Mm. So if you want to turn on to your left, mm -hmm. and I'll cover you with some towels, would you like that? Yeah. And keep warm. And then we'll treat your right ear first. Hope your tummy's going. It could be mine as well. I've given you Hoppy before, so you may remember. I've got an otoscope that I'm going to use and just check the ear before and after, if that's okay. okay. Yeah. So if you want to turn on to your on left, on your side. Yeah. And bring the pillow into, that's it, mm. if you lie down, into there. Perfect. So it's supporting the neck and the head. Does that feel yeah. comfy? Okay. Then I'll get the towels. Now what I tend to do is put a pillow in between your knees as well. Would you like that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like that. Is that about the right place? Right, how's that? Mm, comfy. Oh, good, good, good. Now, I'm probably going to ask you, have yeah. you got a hand here? Yeah. To put your hand here, yeah. push the pillow down, because then I'm going to need you to turn your perfect, so that the ear hole is actually uppermost. Are you comfy like that? Yeah. You just take your hair away, otherwise that's going to annoy you. There we are. Just going to look in your ear first. Okay, it doesn't look too bad. And then just gently pulling your earlobe to allow the correct fitting of the end of the hoppy ear candle to the outside of the ear. It's not entering the ear at all, it's just sealing around the very outside. I'm just supporting it here and I'll be watching it the whole time. Meanwhile, giving you a nice little sinus massage across the face, the chin, around the lymph nodes of the ears and around the back of the head. These are all key places that can be congested for instance, the sinus membranes behind the frontal bone in the forehead and the sinus in the cheeks, the lymph across the jawline,
gently turning the candle to break the seal and bring it away. cleaning the very outer side of the ear into the very top into the crevices all the parts of the ear that help us listen and hear everything we need to and then the very outer side of the hole of the ear Hi guys, Victoria here. Welcome to Victoria's Clinic and you are going to see today a beautiful aromatherapy back, neck and shoulders with my beautiful friend Jodie. Jodie, yes, she's a good friend. She also runs a very successful clinic in our local town and we regularly do swaps on each other so I'm very lucky to know her. She is going to be arriving shortly, so first of all I'm going to get the room ready, which you'll see, and then I'm going to go outside, have a quick pre-chat with her. We're going to put on our PPE, and then I'm going to give her this lovely aromatherapy back, neck and shoulders. Stick to the end to see how she feels afterwards. Okay, see you soon. Having prepared the couch and warmed some towels, I'm now ready to welcome Jodie. Jodie, welcome. You've had a long day at the clinic. Very, very long day. Yeah, and you're looking forward to a nice aromatherapy yeah, massage? I really need it. I've had a very busy week, so okay. I'm quite tense on my shoulders as well. Okay, all right. Yeah, I'll look after you. So we're going to do a nice full body aromatherapy massage with a little facial at the end. And I'm going to check in with you occasionally, see how you are and I look forward to giving you some nice essential oils. We're going to go in and work out which oils to give you. Yeah. So how are you? Anything you need to tell me? Um, I'm just, well, very tight on my shoulders, very tense I think, but it's just from all the hunching over and how I work, so I think I need a nice release. Be nice. Okay, I'll do my I'm best. excited. Oh good, <laughs> excellent. Okay, see you soon. While Jodie washes her hands and applies her mask, I then prepare myself with my visor and my mask, then take her temperature before she enters and I check her muscle tests called kinesiology for tolerance of these essential oils. I've pre-chosen three essential oils, namely grapefruit, seaweed extract and rose each one beautiful for the skin um, in lots of different ways. Seaweed extract helps with skin conditioning, grapefruit also helps with the skin but also to relieve stress and rose is beautiful for cell regeneration, reduce effects of aging to minimize scarring for eczema and rosacea. Having removed one of the heated towels, I'm now applying some preheated sunflower and calendula carrier oil. And now finishing off with exactly the same treatment that I started, which is the palm widening at the spine, lengthening, contacting the whole spine three times. Jodie and I are definitely in tune with the energy right now. Such a beautiful sensation in the room.
having warmed Jodie through and just one last contact this towel has been heating on the radiator and now I'm going to ask Jodie how she feels okay Jo how are you feeling I'm very relaxed I think I nodded up at one point oh, I think I felt you yeah. jerk away yeah, at I one point I yeah when I was lower down the oils were lovely nice smells yeah rose grapefruit and seaweed extract mm, very nice I don't think I've ever put those together before it just seemed to work for you yeah so, uh, how are your shoulders feeling after that? Because you said that they were. Um, I can feel you've worked them, definitely. Yeah, yeah, well, I will be doing a bit more on them when yeah. you turn over. Okay, lovely. Hi guys, welcome back. I'm so excited to show you the next instalment of Jodie's Aromatherapy Massage. So last week you saw the back, neck and shoulders and this week you're going to see the back of the legs, the feet and the front of the legs. This is a beautiful treatment and you're going to see the lovely aromatherapy oils with the aromatherapy massage and stick to the end to see how Jodie feels after her legs have been massaged. Okay, see you soon. Relieving tension within the lungs, solar plexus, digestion, and upwards. Spreading the upper ball to stretch it out. Our feet work so hard for us and Jodi does spend long hours standing on her feet. So it's so nice to have this done. Finally connecting with the solar plexus point and covering up ready to ask Jodie how she feels. So Jodie, just checking in with you, how are you feeling after your legs massage? Very, very lovely. Thank you. Yeah, all okay? Yeah. You still awake? Yeah, <laughs> just about. Just about? Yeah. <laughs> On and off? On and off. That's all right. Off. Okay. So I'm going to be massaging your tummy and arms and shoulders now. Okay. All right, okay. Yeah. So welcome back. You've now seen Jodie's back, neck and shoulders aromatherapy massage. You then saw the legs massage and today you're going to be in the clinic with me as I massage the abdomen, the arms, hands and wrists, the top of the shoulders, across the clavicle and also into the neck and a nice neck release. So stick to the end to see how Jodie feels after that. Okay, thanks for joining. And as I apply the essential oil, and now I'm focusing on a few key meridian points. These are acupressure, and once I've focused on them two or three times in a sequence, I then do another couple of effleurage and then lift off very gently, always mindful of the sensitivity of the abdomen. And having replaced the warmed towels and the extra sheet over the top giving Jodie some extra warmth for all the areas now massaged so that's the legs the abdomen and the 
the hips. I'm now focusing on the arms. Having removed the edge of the towel, always sensitive to keep Jodie covered up in areas I'm not massaging, I first of all introduce the essential oils in a nice long effleurage and then place one hand on the opposite shoulder while I use my flat palm to circle the elbow. In many people the elbows can feel quite rough and full of tension and so this circling is really nice to receive. I then focus on the bicep and tricep muscles, the front and back of the upper arm before replacing the towel and using my thumbs on the forearm and then up into those metatarsals. We can hold a lot of tension and lactic acid, uric acid and crystals in this area so it's so beautiful to have massaged, relieved, rotated. I normally find, depended, depending on handedness, that the fingers can hold a lot of tension and into the palm and into the thenar muscle of the hand. Generally, obviously, that will be most people's right hands and sometimes I'll feel that into the left, depending on their way of working and how much they use their right or left hand. Now into those knuckles, a massage, a stretch and a little flick. The flicks like I did on the toes in the previous videos, massage of the legs, will help with dispersing energy that can be stored up in the extremities, therefore in the feet, the hands and the scalp and face. And now for that beautiful relieving massage up into the palm, which is the solar plexus point, into those bones of the wrist, always upward, overlapping and circling finishing off on the forearm and a gentle pull before replacing and covering up to keep warm under the towels. make sure I've got enough oil that it feels ready for a massage without feeling that there's going to be too much friction but not too much oil that it will feel greasy or like the oil might pool. So very gently touching over the clavicle bone alternating one hand and then the other with a gentle neck pull. This is just my way of introducing my hands to this area that has not been touched or massaged in this treatment yet. Once I've introduced with the effleurage, 
I then use my knuckles in a beautiful symmetrical technique expanding widening my hands away from each other this really helps with the lungs the respiratory system and we make sure that we introduce a good amount of pressure there and that will help us breathe more deeply here we have the smoothing cleanser the vitamin toner the skin feast moisturizer the choice of masks i'll be using the deep hydration mask and then a selection of serums so i introduce my hands to jody's shoulders and neck which have already been massaged so there is already some beautiful essential oils on the skin and i now hold back her hair with a hairband and show you the smoothing cleanser as it says here it's lovely not only for removing makeup but also for refining, smoothing and cleansing the skin. I add a little water, warm water to my hands and then in upward gentle strokes I apply the cleanser to the face and neck. Working with warm hands the cleanser is now being applied and working into the pores. This allows the pores to open, to be cleansed, ready for later on when I'll be helping the pores to close and remain clean. These upward strokes all help to lift the skin, lift the complexion and relieve any muscle tension. Having applied a little more and some warm water, I'm now working into the neck overlapping hand technique, alternating my hands while allowing her head to rest back against my body. This technique is always gentle, 